What's going on Axial Scale Builders around the world? It's your boy Josh, aka Coleman, and you are now watching Scale Wars, Axial's official Battle of the Builders. and shine everybody i hope you're having a good start to your day ah, welcome back to another episode of scale wars so first up just want to remind everybody it's christmas time go ahead and jump down and actually below every video now you should be able to see esp merchandise yes that is right i've got connected with teespring got connected with youtube made the connection between the two and voila right down there there should be some merchandise you can click on it head over to my teespring store Shop to your heart's content. That being said, let's go ahead and get into today's episode. We got SCX 10s on deck. I'm excited. I love my trail trucks. I'll see you guys on Battleground. Yay! All right, you guys, welcome back to the Battleground. First up today, we have Kyle Chapman. And Kyle Chapman is out of, where's he from? Um, British Columbia, Canada. So, uh, we're at Cologne. Kelowna, Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada. He's 31 years of age. Um, looks like he's been subscribed to ESP for about two months now. He says two months. Been watching since I got my Wraith in October 2017. So uh, October 20. Ooh, he's fresh, man. Fresh out the gate. So um, looks like he started building RCs also in uh, October 2017. Uh, the project we're looking at here today, this uh, obviously not his first one, not his Wraith, but this is uh, actually an SEX 10-2, and it's, he just calls it the Yoda. All right, let's just jump into this detailed part and paint list real quick. Go something like this. Axial SEX 10.2 RTR with Toyota SR5 body, Tekken RX-8 ESC waterproof, Tekken Rock 412 2300 KV motor, Power HD 20 kilogram servo, Axial 25 tooth, or 20, 20, yeah, 25 tooth servo horn, um, axial SEX 10.2 kit transmission, extra speed front axle housing, extra speed knuckles and C hubs, extra speed lockouts, extra speed rear, upper and lower links, extra speed front, upper and lower links, extra speed steering links, uh, worn winch and controller 1.9 RC4 wheel drive, um, Mickey Thompson Baja claws and 1.9 Super Swamper, uh, hmm. That 1.9 Baja Claws and a 1.9 Super Swamper. And I wonder if that's like a spare tire or... I'm pretty sure he has Baja Claws all the way around. That might be a typo. And he says, um, G-Made SR-02 uh, 1.9 rims. Now the build classification, obviously a trail truck. And on a scale of 1 to 10, um, he's rating this a 5. So right smack dab in the middle. Now as far as who he would like to give a shout out to, he says he'd like to give a shout out to uh, Chris Sieb and Pat as well as my local hobby shop. What is it called? Okanagan. Okanagan Hobbies and Crafts. So shout out to them. Um, awesome, man. All right, so let's go ahead and dig into Kyle's build here. What do you guys think so far? Um, just looking at you know what we can see in the distance here um it kind of looks like there's no interior uh i'm starting to think there isn't an interior but it's a good looking rig I, you know this is a really cool body this is one of those pro line sr5 bodies they're very very cool um there's a lot of aftermarket parts available for them so um this truck does have a lot of potential now as far as what i can see right off the bat bumper looks good winch looks good d rings are cool i see those uh hanging there what's obviously bothering me i'm sure everyone knows already uh we've got hood pins and then aside from the hood pins we do not have mirrors and we do not have door handles which takes away from the scale realism for sure oh man heartburn is killing me today uh now Hmm, I like the rock sliders. Rock sliders look nice. Sorry, I'm in and out with the zoomy zoom. Uh, I like the rock sliders though. Um, Mickey Thompson's nice choice. 
It's a good looking rig, man. It's just I can tell, you know, you got sticker headlights and stuff. There's a, there's still a ways to go on this, which is he seems to be aware of because he he gave it a five. So let's remember that when we criticize this today and you guys already know as we're going through these just go ahead and jump in the comments um just like we're live streaming jump in there give some real-time feedback what do you guys think you know is this something you like is this something you dislike is this something you would uh you know take out on the trail yourself what would you do to this differently if it was yours uh some tips and tricks maybe just, you know, jump in, get some feedback, but you guys know we have one rule, and that is just keep it civil, man. We're not here to uh, insult people. We're not here to talk down on people. We are here to build up the community. Um, help this man out as if he is your own brother. So that being said, uh, you're missing a body clip. Um, it, it's a good-looking rig. This body's looking haggard, though. It's really beat up. Um, what I would recommend is if you really like this body, I'd say go ahead and snag up another one when you get a chance um, or whenever you get the opportunity to. And um, this time, you know, leave this body on here, but this time when you get the next body, uh, think in advance. Don't just grab it, cut it, and paint it because that's what a lot of people do, and then they regret it later on. Um, there's a lot more you can do first. Get on Shapeways, uh, check out, you know, like Night Customs parts. There is a ton of parts for this body. You can get grills, hoods, interior um, parts. You can get, you know, uh, inner fenders. You can get engine bays. You can get, you know, all kinds of stuff. You know, there's there's just a lot you can do to this body. I've seen it done. So um, there's also some wraps available for this if you don't like to paint or you don't want to paint. Um, and I can see there's a lot of flaking going on in the body, which is kind of leading me to believe that you used the wrong type of paint on there. Um, Pactra's, uh, I think it's Pactra. Pactra's Lexan paint works really good. Um, to me, it has some Lexan paint. Uh, there's a couple companies that make some Lexan paint, but basically what you want is Lexan paint. It works very well uh, with this bendy material. So, or you can just ditch it and go hard body. But I'm just saying that that's to help you out there next time you do it. And if you don't want to spend any money, what you can do with this body is uh, get some rust color, go ahead and tape it all off on the inside and then hit it with the rust. And then everything that's you're seeing here, it's going to start showing up with rust, but make sure you hit it with the right type and it'll lock in that blue too. It won't flake off anymore. Hopefully. Um, then that being said, get you some mirrors on there, some door handles, and uh, maybe chop those lights out, get some light buckets in there. Um, all right, let's keep it moving. Here's a nice shot of the front. See that Tekken ESC in there? I uh, can see, what else can I see? Not much, man. It's, it's looking fairly stock. It's a cool shot, though. I like seeing those group pictures like that. Everybody out having fun. Um, what do we got going on here? Oh, yeah, looks like a couple more in the background here. I don't, it's not an axial, though, I don't think. Maybe it is. I don't know. I can't tell. Um, you know, it's a good-looking rig, but why do I feel like I'm just looking at this from the same angles, basically? Here, there's another one. That's a really nice shot right there. I like that shot. Uh, you can see the Mickeys. Still can't see those wheels too well. Um, see, I can see a receiver in there and stuff. You're going to definitely lose points on your wiring and for not having an interior. Um, lacking on scale detail. It's cool. There's some scale stuff going on in the rear, though. See, you got the fuel cell, high lift, got some uh, recovery tools. That's cool. I like that. And another kind of front side angle shot. There's another one there. Um, it's a good looking rig, man. You definitely, you know, there's a side shot. That's what I was looking for. See the wheels. Looks like you swapped the wheels out at this point. Added a bed cover. Getting a little better. Um, definitely has ways to go, though. So you guys jump in the comments. Give this man some feedback. Give him some tips, tricks. Tell him how, uh, you know, you would make this a little bit more realistic if it was yours. Underneath is not looking too bad, though. Honestly, it's, uh, links aren't looking too bad. Drive shafts look like they're holding up fine. You know, these wild boars are tough as nails. Um, got them axles built up. For those of you that don't know, these extra speed axles actually weigh a lot. Um, they add quite a bit of uh, down low weight down there. So it uh, looks like you're missing some nuts, though. Definitely want to get a nut on the end of that. Um, and that's about it, man. I'm, I'm not really seeing. I'm not really seeing a whole lot. You know, you could do. You could definitely add some scale realism, though. You know, some scale drive shafts. Uh, get some interior, get the uh, wheel wells going on, um, the inner fenders, you know. There's a handful. There's definitely a lot you could do. I mean, there's no shortage of stuff you could do. There's my man Kyle right there. What's good, brother? So, 
Everybody, jump in the comments. You know what to do. Um, give them that feedback. That's what we're here for. I think you did a good job, Kyle. I think you're off to a good start. I feel like, you know, given that you've only been into this, what did he say, since October? You're already ahead of the game, man. I, I know I'm kind of beating you up on your truck a little bit here, but that's, honestly, you're ahead of the game already. Just get an interior in there, you know, mask it up, hit it with some uh, rust and some blacks and stuff inside of there, just kind of, Give it some patchy, you know, paint work and then get some inner fender wells and that's really it. You know, some form of an interior is really going to bring it to life, though, and some lights. But uh, you're doing good, man. It's one step at a time. It's an expensive hobby and uh, it takes time. It takes time. So I, you've only been in it a couple of months. You're already killing it. So nice job. Um, the fact that you got your axles done right away, got that weight down low, tells me you're definitely in for some performance, too. So... I like that. I like it. I like it. I like it. Good job. Uh, you know what it is, everybody. On to our next entry. All right, you guys. We've got our second entry of the day. This one comes from a gentleman named Jason Brunda. And Jason is out of... Uh, where, what, how, that's a funky word. Nesq Honing... Nesq Honing, Pennsylvania. I think I got that right. I'm pretty sure I got that right. Um, he is 35 years 35 years of age as I drool on myself. Oh, my goodness. Now, he has uh, been subscribed to ESP for almost two years. He's an OG around here. Been around for a minute. Um, started building RCs back in 2013. And uh, this project right here, he's calling it Project Never Done. It's an SCX-10 honcho. Interior is next, he says. Now, the detail part and paint list goes like this. Whoa, interior is next, he says. That means, obviously... And as I look at the picture that's on screen, there is no interior. All right. So, um, detailed part and paint list goes like this. SSD, tranny gears, vanquish tranny case, lockouts, and front bumper mount, RC four-wheel drive bumper and sliders, worn 9.5 CTI winch and wireless controller, boom racing crate bead box, uh, front C-hubs and knuckles, and rear four links, um, GPM front three link, and drive shafts, super lift, Steering stabilizer, RC rock armor, fair lead, and G-made remote rest shocks. Now the build classification, obviously, trail truck. Now on a scale of 1 to 10, he rates this a 4. That's pretty low on scale, but he's being realistic. You know, maybe he's just being humble. Um, now, as far as who he'd like to give a shout-out to, he says, My family, who deals with me... Uh, Spending money on parts. <laughs> he says, My family, who deals with me spending money on parts. You, Josh, for doing what you do. And Brian Parker for holding the Recon G6 in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. My first G6. Shout out to my boy, Parker. Everybody knows me and Parker go way back. So, all right. That being said, uh, I, I've said that a lot already today. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, first thing I noticed is it's got a dope paint job, man. I like your paint job. Definitely cool. Mixed it up a little bit. Some different unusual colors mixing and matching. The reds kind of clash, but eh, it looks cool. I like it. I dig it. Um, I see door handles. That's that's a step up. Uh, I do not see mirrors. Um, I like the honcho cage. For those of you that don't know, the honcho just made its return. It is uh, about to be re-released or just was re-released. And um, the new version does not have this uh, spare tire mount thing in it so i have a feeling that this is uh becoming gonna become highly sought after those ones with the spare tire mount um what else do i see i see them g-made shocks i have a set of those same ones right there um green links well i'm a little thrown off by the green links but uh it looks good man pit bulls look good them uh golem crates look good I like it. Good sticker placement. Nothing too crazy. Recovery gear looks good. The chain, not so sure about, but uh, all in all, not too bad. Blurry shot, but we can make out some stuff here. I see some scale accessories going on in the back. Um, there's not a lot to really talk about on this one either. It's kind of like the last one. It's um, lacking an interior, which is very important. It's a crucial part of this, but... Uh, it's a good looking rig though, man. All these colors definitely got me tripping out. Look at the blue and the green. Um, very blurry shots, uh, you know, not everyone's a photographer, but, uh, still looks pretty good. Aftermarket, drive shafts, I can see, 
I can see your sea hugs and your lockouts and everything you were talking about. I'm um, not too bad. From the rear, lean with it, rock with it. Uh, not a lot going on though. I mean, it's honcho. Yeah, the bumper looks good though. I do like that bumper. I like those lights up front too. That's really cool. I like that. It's not your typical everyday light bar scenario. Also this. I like those uh, rock sliders. Those look good on this body. From the front, now we can see some stuff. See that uh, stabilizer down there, fair lead. Got that warm pull strap on the winch. Um, this thing's proper, man. It looks good up front. You know, obviously, I gotta say something about those <sighs> body pins. Uh, nobody likes a body pin. <laughs> but, looking pretty good, man. We're kind of breezing through this. Um, Crawlmaster Expert, yeah, that 540. Um, training case looking good. Everything's looking good. Lots of colors in this thing. Lots of colors. I uh, got the battery up front. OG, simple layout. Um, yeah, pretty basic, man. There he is. What's going on, Jason? Uh, Jason, right here, as you can see, that truck does look good. I mean, as he's holding it up right there, it gives you a just a sense of how cool of an RC truck that is. That's a cool truck. Um, your color combinations, as weird as they are to me, they actually work. They look good. Uh, it's bright. It reminds me of like an actual sponsored rig, something you'd see at an event. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I would love to see some interior action. Get rid of those body pins. You already know how I feel about those. Get rid of those. That body has a lot of cool accessories. So hit up, same thing I told the last guy, hit up Shapeways, get on there. Um, look up night customs and just you know get what you can when you can it's worth it I know some of those parts may seem a little pricey, but trust me it'll really bring the truck to life inner fender wells up front would be awesome um, Disc brakes would definitely be awesome uh, And just to throw it you know a weirdness in there getting some gold disc brakes would be cool just to add another cool color to your mix there um, It's nice man. I really like it I like it a lot. Getting some cool lights, you know, to light up the bed would be nice. I know there's mounting spots on that honcho uh, uh, cage there where you can mount some lights, if I remember right. Um, it's a good looking rig, man. It's a good looking rig. You guys jump in the comments. Let them know what you think of it personally. I think it's cool. Uh, I just, you know, I think it's missing just a few things. An interior would really bring it to life. Um, getting some more lights on it would really bring it to life. Um, but you know aside from that there's really not a whole lot more you know just little details like the brakes like I was saying um, so it's really it, it's a good looking rig it's, it's definitely off to a good start but I'm rambling all right on to our third and final build <sighs> let's do it all right we've got our third and final build of the day and this one is well obviously a Toyota this one's from a gentleman named Chad Ellis and Chad is uh where's Chad from Chad's from Pinyan New York here in the United States I've never heard of Pinyan before but Pinyan New York in the United States hopefully I'm pronouncing that right he is 46 years of age He's been subscribed to ESP for two years ish he says and uh, as far as when he started building RCs Started building RCs in 1989, but scale building started in 2015. And thank you, by the way, for that two-year subscription. I appreciate that. Um, now, as far as what this project name is, the one we're looking at here, what does he call this? Axial SZX10 Stainless Steel Trugly. Oh, <laughs> the Trugly. Uh, now, the detailed part and paint list goes like this. MIP X3 drive shafts. Uh, super shaft bomb proof trans GCM motor forward and transfer case GCM dual servo mount Steering and servo winch vanquish titanium links vanquish SCX 10.2 curry axles RC 4 wheel drive Mojave uh, Yoda cab RC 4 wheel drive Baja um, LED lights under Mojave grill lights Scalar Fab Front Bumper Voodoo KLRs 1.9 on vanquish 2.2 uh, methods uh, beefing tubes, beef patties, uh, beef tubes and beef patties, I think is what he meant there, and disc brakes. Oh, I got a stuffy nose. Uh, Holmes Hobbies Trailmaster BLE Pro ESC with Puller Pro BL 540 Stubby 2200 KV. Excellent selection there. Savix SW1210 uh, SG Steering Servo. Solar Custom Homemade Servo Winch. 
Hmm, interesting. Hey, okay, two position winch controller. Uh, yeah, racing desert uh, lizard shocks. The scale shop low profile skid plate, Delrin. Uh, screw loose SS screws and axial bomber interior. Now, the truggy cage is all handmade, hand bent. Uh, in Connell's. Uh, in Connell's stainless steel tubing. I, I don't know if and that might be a typo there or else I just don't know my welding talk. Um, TIG welded together, Spectrum DX4C4 channel, and uh, the build classification is going to be a trail truck. Now, as far as rating this build on a scale of 1 to 10, he rates it a 7. And as far as who he'd like to give a shout out to, he says, well, uh, shout out to the great crawling family everywhere I go. He says the love for crawling is strong. That is no lie, my man. That is no lie. Well said. Well said. All right. Hold on. <coughs> Over here dying. Okay. Let's go ahead and dive into this build, you guys. You've had a minute to sit here and look at it. What do you think? First off, I think it looks aggressive. Definitely looks mean. Looks like it's out to do work. More of like a comp-based rig, I would say. I mean, looks like it's, you know, it's all about that performance life. Um, once again... Lacking a little bit of scale detail. Ooh, ooh, there it is. Finally hit me. Um, no mirrors. Door handles look like they may be missing or else I'm just seeing that a little funky. Um, no, you know, windshield wipers or anything. Missing the uh, blinker, you know, signal light reflector thing that goes on the side there. Um, and right here. You know, it's missing some things, but it's also kind of truggied the heck out. I see uh, some rock jocks looking good under there. I see some good looking suspension work with limiting straps. like that a lot. Uh, that's a blurry shot, super blurry shot. But let's see if we make it out here. I say uh, methods are looking good. I love the blue. Blues kind of clash on here, though. It looks like two different tones of blue. Um, I like the tire choice too. Those look like, what are those, the Voodoo's, he said? KLR's, right? Um, 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 where is the tires? I don't remember. I, I can't find where he mentioned the tires. Yep, Voodoo KLR's. All right, so those are looking good. I like them. Yeah, you can see he's missing the details for the door handles and stuff like that. Um, sometimes I feel like these guys that are really into building for performance just, you know, they get it like so close and then they miss all these little details. It kind of takes away from what could really be an epic build. Uh, underneath is looking phenomenal. Definitely looks good. Uh, I like the, oop, hit the wrong button there. I like the, uh, oh, I hit the wrong button again. There we go. I like the, uh, metal work you got going on there. Uh, I'm not going to rate your welds because I'm not a welder, so I don't feel qualified to do so. Delrin Skid looks like it's uh, meant to do work. Yeah. Links are all looking good. MIP's looking good. Shock's looking good. It's a good looking rig underneath, man. Um, Interior, you know, I'm going to go ahead and hit you on the interior. I feel like you took the easy way out. Uh, there's a lot of 3D full, you know, interior options available for this body. Uh, Dinky RC makes a whole bunch of stuff. Now, I know you wanted that race look, and this, I get, you know, this gets the point across, I understand. But I do feel that if you would have taken the time to put in a real, you know, Toyota Dash and then modify that Toyota Dash to look more like a race dash, um, you know, put in like actual race seats put in the sparkos or something of that nature instead of the toyota bench seat um you know just just build up a console you know and just i don't know i feel like it would have been better that way um and also if you're gonna go full uh race like that full you know hardcore comp competition type interior maybe a internal roll cage would be a good addition to it um just throwing that out there that's you know trying to give you a hand there um, this looks a little funky. That is definitely crooked. I'm not really sure why that is, but that's definitely crooked there. Um, aggressive lighting. I like that. Those look like the uh, RC4 wheel drive lights in there. The pod ones or whatever. I have those myself. Axles look great. Um, I like the steering action you got going on there. Everything's looking good. Woo! Look at the rear of that thing. I like it. You did a good job. Uh, he said that the rear was... 
the truckee cage is all handmade, hand bent, uh, stainless steel tubing. So he did a good job on that. That uh, looks pretty good, man. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not a welder, so I can't really judge your welds or anything. But for me, looking at it, this looks like a cool cage. So oh, oh. your pull pal looks like a, a murder weapon. It's definitely crazy looking, and that probably just got my video flagged. <laughs> um, I like the toolbox in the back. I like the shock action. Thing's a beast, man. It definitely looks good. I see in here you got those beef patty disc brake things going on there. It's aggressive. It's definitely aggressive. Another interior shot. Um, I'm, I'm not, there's not a lot to say about the interior. That I just I feel like you cheated there. You took the easy way. Um, another nice shot. I like that you got the uh, Warren hubs there, the scale hubs. Um, those methods again looking really good. Yeah, there's not a lot to say, man. It's looking nice. Profile looks good from up top. Oh, there he is right there. And uh, this is Chad Ellis. Ellis. I wanna, I'm trying to remember that name. But Chad Ellis. So, Chad, thank you very much for submitting this build, man. It looks good. It looks great. I might be nitpicking a little bit. Um, in this picture, actually, the blues look a little bit better. They look like they match a little better. But, um, yeah, I might be nitpicking a little bit. It is a phenomenal build. You really did do a great job here some really high-end parts um, some really quality paint work some uh, cool metal work everything's just really really nice here and something tells me this thing really performs awesome as well um, the only thing I would say you're missing is you know get those scale details on there man I know it's a hardcore comp truck and you're just gonna wipe the mirrors off and all that stuff but that's okay put them on anyways let them scrub off and just have broken mirrors hanging there that's all right um, get them door handles on there. Get them them reflectors on there. You know, just little things like that will really bring it to life. And uh, just, it'll get you them extra points on here. So, that being said, you guys know what to do. Jump in the comments. Give them some love. Give them some feedback. Let them know what you think. Advice. All that good stuff. Tips and tricks. If you want to submit your own build. I almost choked there. If you want to submit your own build, you want to uh, see the scores, keep track of what everybody gets here on Scale Wars. Um, you know, all that fun stuff. Maybe pick up some merchandise. Maybe check out some cool pictures and other videos and uh, follow my social media and all that good stuff. Then you can uh, head over to www.extremescaleperformance.com. Everything you need to know is there. Uh, slide over to the Scale Wars tab to sign up slide over to the shop tab to get your merchandise and you know so on and so on and so on all that good stuff that being said uh next episode's gonna be pretty special i think or the next couple episodes might be pretty special we'll see what we got planned here um i'm definitely doing a christmas episode though for you guys and uh well i think that's it i think that's it if you made it this far you're a rock star you already know ah <sighs> peace of chicken grease fam i'll see you on the next one yeah yeah